we have had more than 250 participants for the webinar, which was kindly hosted by Ceres and Infrastructure Asia. And certainly I'm very honored to have been given the opportunity to share some very key lessons that we've learned from our own experience in Taiwan. I think there are three things that one could take away from the webinar. First, uh, floating solar deployment is definitely possible and could be bankable if the structure is right. Two, there are heaving technical and regulatory issues to overcome, uh, and many of them are site-specific or project-specific, but none would be insurmountable. Three, I think, as evidence from the webinar today, Singapore has the right mix of talent and ecosystem to assist in the technical and economic and financial development of floating solar in the region. Floating solar, as quoted by, um, by Seth Tan on Infrastructure Asia today, uh, the total installed or the potential to be installed around the world is 400 gigawatts, around the same as uh, ground-mounted solar. Uh, floating solar actually involves deploying a typical solar PV system on floating platforms, which means that unlike traditional methods of mounting on a roof or on the ground, you can actually now produce solar power on water. So what that means is it's exciting because uh, it opens up the possibility of deploying larger scale renewable energy generation quicker. Given the size when completed to our knowledge, this would be the largest floating solar project ever in Taiwan and certainly one of the largest in the world for which experienced a similar kind of uh, conditions as the site. This is landmark as it proves that this exciting technology could be deployed in a commercially sensible manner to aid in any country's energy transition journey. And DBS, we were a co-financial advisor. We were there with the sponsors at the beginning, structuring a sensible financing package, going through um, key bankability issues from technical to insurance um, to legal, right? And come up, coming up with a deal that is acceptable to not only DBS, but six other institutions, which include international banks and local Taiwanese banks. We believe that this combination of knowledge, expertise and perseverance and ability to get um, liquidity from the international and Taiwanese banking community really proves that this project is unique in many ways. Uh, certainly, it is the largest uh, financing ever raised in the solar sector in Taiwan. promising sources of renewable energy which could be deployed in any country in ASEAN would be solar energy. Large ground-mounted solar PV systems require large tracts of land. However, many countries in ASEAN and indeed in Asia face the perennial dilemma of optimizing the use of land, even in larger countries such as Indonesia. So water bodies such as reservoirs, etc. present an additional and viable avenue deploy solar power without compromising on the use of land for agricultural or industrial uses. Certainly for a land scarce country like Singapore, this will be a very interesting option. Renewables as an industry is undergoing tremendous change. Uh, the change started many years, a few years back actually, uh, and the acceleration of such a change actually culminated in tremendous and drastic shifts in the, in the energy industry over, over the last five years, particularly after Paris Agreement. Um, so I believe it, the next step of the journey for renewables will be the deployment of an economically and technically feasible solution for storage. This is to complement the growing deployments of renewable energy, many of which are intermittent sources of power generation, such as wind and solar, because their dependence on uh, the whether the sun shines or whether the wind blows. Um, with an innovation in batteries or even hydrogen, hydrogen fuel cells, uh, this could actually mean that renewables could be treated as based on power generation that can generate 24 by 7 throughout the day. So this will be the next frontier and this, I believe, is coming upon us very soon. DBS as an Asian-focused bank we also have an award-winning project uh, finance team that specializes in advising and structuring 
complex transactions, particularly in the renewable energy sector, um, in whether it be the greenfield, brownfield or acquisition opportunity. We will be happy to assist our clients in transitioning through this great energy transition journey, particularly in the floating solar arena. Thank you.